Yo everyone, I'm Jonah from London Latin. Today I'm down at the studio and I'm going to show you how we took this interview scene from this to this. For this interview, we decided to go for a bit more of a stylistic, sort of dramatic approach. So you're going to see a nice contrast, you're going to see a bit of colours and it's quite a serious interview. And then maybe in the next episode we'll show you how we do a bit more of a high key one or a bit more of a commercial sort of interview. So cool, I'm gonna be running through the whole setup, why we used each light, where we used each light, and you're gonna see the difference between when it's on and when it's off. So we have Louis here, our model for the day, and what we're gonna do is whenever we light, we tend to start with a blank canvas. So we're gonna turn off all the house lights. Obviously I've got lights already positioned, that's how I've pre-done this, but we're gonna act as if they're not there, and I'm gonna go through each light and its role and why it's there, all right? So it's only right to start with our most important light first, our key light. Our key light is a main light in the scene as it sets the exposure for the cinematographer, all right? The key light is usually gonna be probably about 45 degrees from the camera, and it tends to be soft, but you can have a harsh key light as well. Today, we've gone with an eight by eight frame with diffusion on it and an aperture 600D shooting through it. So what you get here is you get this nice, lovely, soft look across Louis. If I walk across it, if you look at Louis, minimal shadows go across him. The next light I'm going to turn on is our background light. This is basically an Aperture Nova on a turtle and it's shooting into the background. What we're trying to do here is add a nice colour to the wall and it's going to create some separation from Louis and the actual background. As you can see right now, Louis's top is pretty much just blending into the background, but we don't want that. We want to create depth, as depth is just very cinematic. So we're gonna put a light on the background to actually separate him. Now you can see there's clear separation between Louis and the background, and you can actually see the depth of the studio that we're in, all right? It just makes the image look a lot more three-dimensional and is very important. The next light we're gonna put on Louis is a rim light or an edge light or a backlight. Basically, this is also, again, to separate Louis from the background and just give him a nice sort of outline. So that's on now. We want to just have that sort of behind him and it's just basically hitting the back of his head and the back of his shoulders and it's going to give him a nice glow around the outside of his body. For the backlight, we've gone with an Aperture 200X in a spotlight mount and we're using the spotlight mount so we can cut the shape and limit how much light actually gets onto Louis. That way it's not flooded and it's not overpowering the scene, it's just a nice subtle light mainly hitting his shoulder and the back of his head. So the next light now is the fill light. For this, we've gone for the Falconize 100 watt softbox and it's on a mega boom, just boomed over. So as you can see, that's the fill light on now. It's killed a lot of those shadows that was on Louis' face. Obviously we want this quite a, a dramatic sort of interview as Louis is telling us a really personal story, but we don't want it to be crazy dramatic. So that's just filled in some of the gaps on the face. We've gone a bit warmer, and as you can see, it's just lighting them really nicely now. The next thing I'm gonna add to this scene is just a little bit of haze. You don't wanna go crazy with the haze, but it's just very important in cinematography as it adds depth. The further the light travels through the haze and the diffusion, the more sharpness that the light loses. So basically, haze will allow the subject to look a lot more sharper than the background or anything like that, hence creating depth. But as you can see now, the background has lost a bit of sharpness because the light traveling through it has lost a bit of sharpness and Louis just looks really sharp. He's just the main focal point of the whole scene and we've just again created even more depth, which is really important in cinematography. This obviously isn't a budget setup, it's quite a professional setup. It's not every day, you're not gonna be able to set up an eight by eight in your house or have a mega boom and double wind up. So this is more for my professionals that are watching. However, you can do these things on a lower scale with cheaper lights and you still will get good effective results. The main aim is you wanna be working on your three point lighting, having your key, your fill and your backlight. And then also you wanna be working on depth and creating depth in your images. So yeah, this is an example of how we lit a three point lighting setup in five minutes. Let us know what you think, let us know what you do differently. Yeah, I've been Jordan from London Lighting. Thanks for watching.